I'm gonna break down the apprentice climb today. This is one that I like to use as a conditioning climb for warm-ups because it forces you to work both sides. So you wanna start with making sure you can master your apprentice. Once you're comfortable with your apprentice, this is where you start to take it to the next level. It's also a nice way to switch from different sides of the pole. So if you start a combo and you're not on your favorite side and you don't want anyone to know, you just make a pretty transition to the other side. So we're gonna start with the apprentice. Inside hand is down. I prefer the finger pointing down because that keeps the wrist in alignment, but that's personal preference. Some people prefer the fingers all to be wrapped. Um, I feel like when the fingers are all wrapped, it causes the wrist to roll, but everyone's a little bit different. So up to you what you wanna go with on that. The outside hand is gonna be about face height, okay? Initially in the apprentice, you wanna make sure this hand is low because this arm is pulling to the side, not down. If it's up high, you only have one option to pull down. We want to pull to the side to go to our apprentice, okay? So my inside leg is gonna come up. I want it close to my hip, not down on my thigh, okay? And my knee is parallel or above. I don't wanna have it pointing towards the ground. Wherever this knee points, that's where your body's going. We want it to go up. Okay, so inside hand is down, outside hand is across to your face, and I'm going to tip towards the pole, pulling across with this top arm. Tip. Legs can be open, legs can be bent. This is your apprentice. Once you get to the point where your apprentice feels comfortable and you're able to hang out there for a few seconds and feel relatively solid, you can start to take it to the apprentice climb. So you're gonna start with the apprentice, outside hand high, face level, inside leg is parallel, you're gonna tip, to the side, your outside leg is going to hook at the pole, okay? I'm pushing my foot into the pole. I'm gonna slide my inside hand around and my leg down. Here's my jasmine. Outside hand grabs above, inside hand grabs above that. Use your leg and push up into your ballerina, okay? Eventually over time, this turns into multiples back and forth. Inside hand slides down. Tip, apprentice, hook, push with that leg, switch, jasmine, outside hand reaches high, use your leg to push up into your ballerina. A lot of people when they get to the jasmine and they go to pull up to the ballerina, they're using just their arms, which means you're really gonna wear yourself out. So think about this bottom leg when you go from here to here, think about pushing. So it's a lot of butt, okay? You really think of that glute engagement. So you're gonna alternate back and forth on this one. You can take it as high as you want to. This is not a climb for efficiency. It's a pretty climb. It's a conditioning climb. It's a training climb. It's a fun climb. It's not a fast climb. You can do five of them and still not get to the top, okay? So this is your apprentice climb. <laughs> 